If you've ever worked with a raised floor access system, you know there are big advantages to installations and maintenance in them. Whether it's the freedom of routing to mainframes, the ease of adding new cabling, or even troubleshooting. There are obviously still code requirements that wiring must be accessible, any opening protected against foreign debris, and the floor itself must be of approved construction. These access systems also present a unique fire hazard though. The chamber under the floor could easily mask a small fire and allow it to grow across the full area of a room. Smoke could easily accumulate and spread wherever the underfloor area shares ventilation. If the conductors or devices used in the installation emit toxic smoke when burning, the smoke spreading in the chamber under the floor and to any connected ventilation system would present a deadly hazard. Because of this, the 2020 NEC addresses these increasingly common arrangements by setting up two requirements. The first is they must have an automatic fire suppression system where the underfloor IT wiring is installed, which is more permissive. And the second is when there's no automatic fire suppression system for the underfloor area. In that case, only wiring designed so that it will not produce toxic smoke when burning is permitted. 